Hi, I'm Emily. I'm going to be your student nurse today. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Um, do you have any allergies that you're aware of? No. Are you experiencing any pain today? No. Alright, excuse me while I wash my hands. I'm going to pull this curtain for your privacy. Are you comfortable? Yes. Alright, can I have your name and date of birth? Amanda Blake, 423-1997. Okay, patient looks stated age. Um, do you know where you're at right now? University of Detroit Mercy. Do you know why you're here? Health assessment. And um, do you know what year it is? 2017. All right, patient is ANO times four. Um, patient is overall groomed and well kept with good hygiene. There's no obvious signs of illness noted. Um, patient is calm, cooperative, pleasant. Um, patient's speech is clear, logical, and appropriate for the situation. Um, I'm just going to do a, a little assessment on you today. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, patient's hair is blonde. Um, hair is thin, um, smooth and straight. There's no lesions, no um, parasites present. Um, patient's face is warm. Skin is um, pink, normal for ethnicity. Now I'm going to look at your eyes. Alright, so I'm going to have you just look at my nose. Um, eyes are symmetrical on the face. Pupils are 3 millimeters, constricted to 2 with light. And then I'm going to have you follow my pen light. Follow it in. Patient's eyes are perla. They're equal, round, and reactive to light and accommodating. Now I'm going to look at your mouth. So you could just pull down your lips like that. All right. And then open up your mouth wide so I can see. Um, okay. The oral mucosa and the gums are pink. They're smooth, moist. Um, open up again. All the teeth are present, and there's no dental caries. Um, you stick out your tongue for me. Tongue is pink, moist, and midline, and then say ah, ah. All right, uvula rises midline, and um, tonsils are present at grade one. And then can I have you pull down your eyes again? All right. All right, the sclera is white, and the conjunctiva is pink. Um... Now I'm going to look at your carotid arteries, so if you could turn towards the side. Alright, first I'm going to palpate them, <laughs> so, other side. and then when I auscultate, you're going to have to um, take a deep breath and then just hold it in while my stethoscope touches. And I'm listening with the bell. All right, and the other side. All right, no breweries were heard. Now I'm gonna assess the skin and your upper extremities. Um, the skin is smooth, um, warm, um, pink, normal for ethnicity. Um, hair is evenly distributed. Now I'm gonna check your pulses. This is your radial pulse. The rate is um, equal. Rhythm is regular. And the strength is 2 plus bilaterally. Now I'm going to check your brachial pulses. And the strength is 2 plus bilaterally. Um, can you put your hands here like this? I'm assessing for clubbing and there's no clubbing present. Now let me see your fingernails. I'm looking for capillary refill. So cap refill is less than three. Now I'm going to listen to your heart. Um, but first I'm going to, if you can grab onto my fingers to assess your strength. Okay. Strength is equal on both sides and strong. Now I'm going to um, talk about the anatomy of the heart. So, um, you have the 
atrial area. So it's the second intercostal space, um, right sternal border. And then you have the pulmonic area, which is the second intercostal space, left sternal border. Um, you have herbs point at the third intercostal space, left sternal border. And then the tricuspid area at the fourth intercostal space, left sternal border. And then the mitral area at the fifth intercostal space, midclavicular line. And this is where I'm going to listen to the apical pulse for 60 seconds. So I'm going to first listen with the diaphragm on my stethoscope. And I've listened here for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to flip to my bell. Okay, I heard S1 at the apex and S2 at the base better. I did not hear any S3s or S4s, um, no heart murmurs. Now I'm going to listen to your lungs. Um, so every time you feel my stethoscope touch your skin, just take a deep breath in and out. I'm doing this with the diaphragm. Starting above the clavicle. Lung fields are clear to auscultation. Now I'm going to have you stand up and listen to the back. So same with the front. Just take a deep breath in and out. All right, again, the lung fields are clear to auscultation. Um, now I'm going to assess your spine. So if you could um, bend over. All right, the spine is midline. There's no abnormal curvatures present, no scoliosis. Now I'm going to apply some pressure. So tell me if you feel any tenderness. No. No. All right, there's no tenderness at the CV angle. Now I'm going to check your A and P um, ratio. A and P ratio is 2 to 1. Now I'm going to have you lay down on here, and I'm going to do um, your abdomen assessment. Okay. So the umbilicus is in any and it's midline, stomach is symmetrical, skin color is consistent with the rest of the body. I'm going to get down and look at the contour, and the contour is flat. Now I'm going to say um, some organs in each of the quadrant. So the upper right quadrant um, is the liver and the gallbladder. Um, the left upper quadrant is the stomach and the spleen. The, right le lo the left lower quadrant is the rectum and the anus, and then the right lower quadrant is the cecum and the appendix. So I'm going to auscultate each of the quadrants with the bell of my, or the diaphragm.
All right, the bowel sounds are normal active. Now I'm going to palpate, making sure I start on the right side and drag. And I'm looking for any enlarged organs or masses. Do you feel any tenderness or discomfort? No. All right, there's no enlarged masses that I felt. Now, can I have you sit up so I can assess your lower extremities? And then I assess the um, JVD angle at 30 degrees when you were getting up, and there's no JVD distension or anything. Um, now I'm gonna look at your lower extremities. Um, skin color is consist consistent. Throughout the body, it's pink and normal for ethnicity. Hair distribution is even throughout. Um, skin is warm and smooth. Now I'm gonna check your um, dorsalis pedius pulse. And the strength is two plus bilaterally. Now I'm gonna assess your posterior tibialis pulse behind. And the strength is also two plus bilaterally. I'm gonna check for um, any edema or swelling in your ankles or feet. And there's no edema present. And now I'm going to um, have you push up against my hands to assess your muscular strength. And then back. All right, strength is um, good and equal on both sides. Now I'm going to have you do the get up and go test, so you're just going to get up and walk to the door. I'm assessing her gait. Her natural gait is smooth, rhythmic, and effortless. Now I'm going to perform the Romberg test, so I'm going to have you hands by your side, close your eyes, and I'll be here. And you would normally do this for 20 seconds, but I'm only going to do it for a few. And then the Romberg test is negative, and the assessment is over.